All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So first, always remember to put on your safety goggles. You don't want anything flying into your eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on myself right now. Okay, then I also have a face mask. So thanks to COVID-19, we all have one. So there's no excuse not to cover up your mouth or your nose. So I'm also gonna put that on right now. I have a Dremel. The Dremel can be bought at um, basically anywhere um, online, but if you are, if you like to shop in person, um, I personally got this one as a gift actually, and um, from my parents, of all people, and they got it at Home Depot. Um, I have seen this at Michael's so. Okay, so this is a, Dremel uh, 2050. So that is the brand of this specific one I'm using. There are larger ones and you know all sorts, but this is the one I have and I am extremely happy with it. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so I did take two nails off. I know you see that my nails are done and pretty. Um, it is part of my job to have really nice nails. Um, with a lot of all my sales. I'm constantly live on Instagram and um, between live shows and live sales and combing the beach and stuff and doing YouTube videos. Uh, also taking pictures for Etsy, but in this case, I actually took off two nails so I can do this video. So they actually don't look that bad, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So, um, the plan. The plan is we're going to try to shape these shells. We want to make them more prominent, clean them up, and see what that shell is. So not specifically just this one, but a couple of them to see what they look like. Um, so it looks like, it this almost looks like a shark tooth, but I, I don't know if it is or not. It's too hard to tell. It looks like a bubble shell. Um, gosh, there, you know, there's a lot of everything in here. Got some cirrus. Um, let me flip this over. A little bit of everything, maybe a worm snail. So we'll see. I hope to find a shark tooth. Well, two things, shark tooth and or um, calcite. That would be really cool. Like a real legit nice chunk of calcite. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, right? So we're gonna turn this on. That's not the on button. Okay, I'm gonna go up to a, uh, a four because I like to move fast. That's my hand. <laughs> All right, let's see.
Hello, this is Florida Shelling. I got light. It should work better this way, you know, all the way around. <laughs> all right, so I got a snack, a little Starbucks. I'm gonna put my glasses back on. I'm gonna put my mask back on. All right, so my Dremel's hot, my wrist hurts, so I think I'm just gonna drill a little bit more and then I'm gonna continue in the morning. Um, I've already been at it for like 30, actually around 45 minutes, so my hand hurts. Um, I don't know, and then tomorrow I think I'll switch blades, but I'm gonna finish it off tonight with this one and then in the morning I'm gonna do a different one, so. Here we go, our, whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, I'm done for the day. So basically what I, what I um, came to do another conclusion. So I found a really cool bubble shell. I don't know where to go. Oh, okay, right here. So I think that's really cool. Um, really, that's the only cool thing I found so far. Um, other than there's like a little worm snail right here. 
Um, there's some clams, but I cracked a few on accident, but there really wasn't anything in there anyway. Um, everything I think is a chartreuse ends up being like a black shell. So basically what I'm doing now, I'm going to um, come back tomorrow with a different drill bit and shape it more. And then, so I went ahead and buffed it out a little bit. Um, so I'm going to wash it, let it dry overnight, and then kind of see what it looks like once I get all the, you know, grain out and stuff. Um, but I think that getting a different drill bit will help. I got a ton of them. Um, and then just keep working at it until something comes from it. Um, it's definitely like a piece of work and I'm going to 100% keep this because I've got a lot of time, um, already put into this, but... I've got to say it's really satisfying and really interesting to see as I go through what is in here. So I want to call it a day. I'm going to clean up my little mess, cook some dinner, go to bed, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. So I got, I got, look at that girl. I got lipstick all over my face because that mask. Oh, I'm totally busted. I wasn't wearing my mask. I had to take it off because I was eating. <laughs> anyway. So I will see you guys tomorrow and let's see what happens.
All right, so <laughs> we've been um, working away at this for a while and I am very confident there are no shark's teeth or anything other than just a mixed pile of shells in here. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and I'm gonna rinse it off. And I'm trying to decide if I want to either smash it <laughs> with a hammer or keep it the way it is. So I have put in it's about four hours worth of work now into this rock. But uh, I just feel like if I break it, it's just going to be more of the same. I just don't feel like anything's in there. It's just a mixed pile of old shells and all these black pieces I worked on. You know, I was trying to be so careful around in case it was a fossilized shark tooth, but it just ended up being shells. So I think it looks pretty cool the way it is. Um, I think I'm going, I so I actually, right before I ended it, I went around and I just kind of smoothed out the edges and kind of made all the shells defined as much as my thumb could handle anymore. So I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, regardless, this is something I've been wanting to do for some time. So I'm glad that I did, I finally did the experiment. And it's something I'm sure so many people wonder too, you know, when you see these rocks around in Florida, what is in them? So now we kind of know, and I'm sure, you know, in plenty of them, there are shark teeth and, um, you know, mastodon fossils, alligator teeth, any, any kind of fossil you would find in Florida. Um, just not in this piece. <laughs> so now that